Hey, what's up? Welcome to another broadcast of TC the G Radio. I'm your host, your girl, TC the G, broadcasting directly from Tijuana, Baja California. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to have a great time. That's right. The topic of conversation for this broadcast is neutrality. So let's go ahead and dive right into this conversation. So neutrality. When I think of neutrality, the first thing that comes to mind is playing it safe. It's like we don't want to make a decision. We don't want to choose. Um, but we have to choose. At the end of the day, we have to choose between good and bad. Um, I know we cannot like completely break life down into two things, just black and white, because there's colors, right, and variations. What is meant by black and white spiritually is what nurtures life and what doesn't. That, that's really all we need to worry about, about nurturing and protecting and helping life uh, grow. So we need to make sure that our actions protect life, contribute to life, help life grow. So we have to choose. We have to choose the good. And we are only able to decipher what the good is by... Um, by using our rational mind. Our rational mind helps us study, observe, and evaluate. In other words, make or have good judgment. So we do, we do have to judge, not in a bad way, using discernment. Judgment in a good way. We have to judge things like actions and situations in order to assess the situation and make good decisions. We have to judge. It's just part of the human nature. We have to judge. Um, that's how we know a square from a circle. Telling people not to judge is like telling people not to think. We have to judge. Um, but, you know, it all depends how you use the judging the this scale of judging that we have as humans so are you using it for good to to assess um situations and people and and decisions that you have to make or are you using it just to break down people and make them feel bad about themselves and criticize them those are the things that we're not supposed to do with judging because that causes pain and that does not nurture life which like i said is it's like the bar that's the bar like does do do these actions help life? Do these actions nurture life? And we have to choose our own path. Everybody has to choose their own path. Nobody can influence us into doing something we don't want to do. At the end of the day, we have free will and we, ha we can use it. Um, if we choose to be zombies, well, that's another choice too. We choose to be zombies. Because I think at the end of the day, we have been bombarded with even though religion, maybe, you know, things that are not honorable um, that have come out about religion and churches and things, um, but we know what good and bad is. So we have an idea. We all know what good and bad is, what and a good action and a bad action is. So we have to choose. We can't just be in the middle and be neutral about things. If we continue to be neutral, if we are neutral about things, that's how violence continues, injustices, because nobody speaks up about, you know, things that are happening. We have to speak up about injustices, about things that are happening that are not, that are bad, that are not good for humanity. We can't just turn a blind eye. We cannot. We cannot do that. It's, it's, it's a disservice to our to all of our human sisters and brothers. We can't do that. We have to, if we see something that's not right, we're just supposed to, supposed to speak up. We have to speak up, all of us. We cannot be scared of speaking up when we see injustices or abuse happen. We have to speak up. But real abuse and real things, you know, do your research. Pay attention to people and their actions. Use your judging. Use your judgment. And it, like I said, judging is not like something bad. It, it's 
discernment is using this judging for good so we can make good decisions. So we cannot be scared. We cannot be scared of making a decision and choosing and, and having to unfortunately cast this, I guess, this, I don't know, this stone or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, it's not, it's not, we're not going to lynch them and kill them. We can just step away from them, right? We don't have to kill, kill them and throw rocks on them until they die and stuff, until they bleed to death. We don't have to do that. We can just step away from them. That's what being a human is. We can assess things. Animals just, just act on their instincts all day so they can survive. They don't have, they don't think like that. They just do things. We have the power to assess our actions. Of course, human rules and society, the rules always change. Before, in the old era, or in the old times, you know, sacrifices and all this stuff, right, was acceptable. But as we evolve, you know, we start to use our brain more. And again, life doesn't have to be so difficult to understand or to decipher. It's just, does this action nurture life or not? Does this action help life or no? Does it, you know, does it make it disappear? Does it hurt it? All of that stuff is not good. We just have to be good people and good and a good person. Of course, we're not going to be perfect. Of course. And, you know, sometimes we're going to make mistakes. But as long as we understand the mistakes, apologize with a sincere heart that we made a mistake and really try to change it, everything is going to be fine. But if we just want to go around blind and just doing things, not apologizing, not thinking about it, just whatever, you know, it's... It's irresponsible, hurting people left and right. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. We can't be neutral, just in the middle ground, playing it safe, not rocking the boat. We have to rock the boat to make change. Change is not going to happen in, in, in a boat that's just still all day. It has to move. It has to rock. And if it's going to help people, why not? It does take courage. It does take courage and self-awareness. But as long as we have the right intentions, as long as, long as we want it, if we want it, we just keep going. We just keep going. It doesn't matter. As long as we have this goal in mind, it's okay. We just keep going. We try again. We just keep, you know... Our eyes on the prize. That's it. We have to have character for, for things that matter. We have to stand up for what's right, act on what's right, speak up. If we see injustices, yes and no. The two words exist, yes and no. Maybe is the neutral ground, right? But if we want to have a, a um, maybe fulfilling life, full of meaning, we have to choose. Because playing the middle ground is just not, 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 not having a say. You just don't know. Whatever. Whatever's clever. You know? We have to have more passion, a little bit more passion for life. I don't know, maybe go running or something. Get more energy pumping. Because we, we need to, I don't know, change your diet or something. To have more energy. Because life is worth it. Life is worth fighting. Life is worth it. 
And, you know, there's other people, of course, that are causing pain, that cause pain, that have power. We have all these different things that pop on on the news, right? Like Jeffrey Epstein and people like that, Harvey Weinstein. There were some people that were being neutral there, right? Some celebrities that didn't speak up. And they didn't say anything about these events. They were being neutral. You know, if people would have, the first time they noticed, it, they would have spoken up about it. Those people would not have done as much damage as they did. But because whatever they were getting in return, whatever, they didn't want to rock the boat, they wanted to keep it cool. You can't be keeping it cool with people that cause pain to others, that abuse others. You, can, you can't be cool with those people. It's just, no. It's like you're saying it's all right, it's okay, I'll be friends with that. No, we cannot be friends with that. We cannot. We cannot affiliate, associate with those people. They cause pain to people. They abuse people. Why would you want to have a friend like that? I don't want to have a friend like that. Is that even a friend? It's a person that you can't trust. But I guess, you know, that's how the some people work that have power and money. There was so many like different people, you know, that we saw that were going to the island with that with that guy. A lot of celebrities known, you know. Models, Beyonce. Naomi Campbell, the Clintons. People knew. They went to the island. Do you know what they used to call that island, the nickname? It was P-E-D-O, island. How can you not know where you're going when that's the nickname? You know where you're going. All of those, a, a lot of kids could have been spared from that, from, the, from that faith. But the, because they want to play it safe, because they don't want to say anything, they want to keep it cool. You can't keep it cool with the devil. You, you're not supposed to be scared of it either, but you're not supposed to be hanging out with him unless you want to be like him. If that's the case, then hey, that's that's your life. But understand, there's gonna be people fighting that, that are gonna try to stand up for what's right. And we reap what we sow. There's gonna be people who are going to want to do the right thing. People that feel and that care about life, and that respect life. So it's just something to keep in mind. We need to put ourselves in those people's shoes. I think neutrality, too, is a lack of empathy. How can you be so cold towards these injustices and just act like it's whatever and still be friends with the perpetrator, the abuser? A lot of people are so, they're missing empathy. They can't feel what other people's pain is like. So they don't care. Like, ah, whatever. You know, neutral. It's not me. It's not affecting me. It's all good. It's not all good. If we're going to survive, we need to be a community and care about each other. That's what we have to do. Okay, so that concludes this broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to TC the G Radio. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. What are your thoughts on this topic of conversation? Neutrality. I want to know. Comment, like, share, and remember to tune in and show some love every Wednesday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Also, connect with me on social media to get more of me and my musical content. I will leave all of my social media and contact info in the video's description. 
Again, thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in and for allowing me to share this time with you. Take care. Saludos.